Sports Pregame Show. Welcome, everybody. Excited to have you in the house with us on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It is the NBA playoffs. We've been waiting a long time for yes, this. Yes, we have. Yes. Yes. Moments away, it'll be the Chicago Bulls going up against the Toronto Raptors in their house, Air Canada Center. For the Raptors, the top seed in the East. They'd never admit to looking past their opponent, but their goal is to make short work of this series and keep fresh for a title run. And here we are, first round of the playoffs. Shaq, what do you think is the biggest difference between regular season and postseason ball? Ernie, that's the easiest question you've ever asked me in your life. More. More energy, more from your teammates, more from your fans, more from your opponents. Some players will take the bull by the horns, others will get thrown off it. So you just got to go out and be ready, but you definitely got to raise your level, Ernie. Have you ever taken a bull by the horns? Never. I sure have. Oh my God. Please describe. Well, the bull came at me, right? Okay. And he was running. So I grabbed his horns and I did this little shoulder jammy, <clears throat> put his neck out of place, he fell. Anyway, for <laughs> yes, coaches, please. the game becomes much more chess than checkers. Ooh. You really have to be a move ahead and a thought process behind. Have you ever played chess or checkers? I play them at the same time. I play my younger son checkers and my older son chess at the same time. I have done that. Have you ever taken a bull by the horns while playing checkers? Yes. Are you answering yes to every question <laughs> I ask? Yes. And he, you know when he did it, Ernie? May 23rd. <laughs> How'd you know, Kenny? Yeah, he did it on May 23rd. Because you do me. everything on May 23rd. Yeah, you're watching me. Kevin Harlan, chess master. Take it. in their own building to take game one of the series. And they're ready to go. I mean, as we can hear, so are their fans. This can be a... Intimidating building to play in when the crowd is this charged up. That alone gives them a huge leg up. That's why you grind so hard during the regular season to get this payoff home court advantage. And that's exactly what they've worked for. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Levine is out there with each one more. And it's Kyle Gasol. And it's Tony Snell. And it's Hibbert. And it's a good spot. And in the middle. Here's Levine. The fans to this one. Solid play in the low block. And that one's good. Now Lowry. Pass to Pete. Back to Lowry, and it's Ariza in the corner. That falls. Nice speed that time from Kyle Lowry. Ariza's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Moore passes to Snell. Gasol kicks to Hibbert. Gasol screen feeds to Levine. This is to Moore. Back at six. He kicks to Levine. Toronto with the rebound. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Buckets passes to a reason. At the elbow, it's Gasol. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Mark Gasol is one of the best big man shooters in the league. Gasol is straight on a reason. Levine. Gasol, 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. Gasol's got his second bucket of the night. Here's Lowry. Pass to Buckets. He feeds it to Gasol. The 
the turnaround J, and it's Roy Hibbert with the rebound. For Chicago, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. First quarter of ball, let's get it up next year. And it's stolen by a reason. Fast break Toronto. Here's Buckets. Buckets! Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Now they're starting to rub it in. What the hell? Build up a lead. Here we go, folks. It's showtime. Passes to beat. And it's each one more with the foul. That's his first foul. And, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Greg, those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Toronto with the ball. Outside Lowry. Here's the dish to Gasol. Down to five on the shot clock. Whoops, there's the 24 second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. And to make it into the postseason, you need a lot of versatility. Here's a look at the top rebounding shooting guards during the regular season. You'll take a look at Buckets. No doubt one of the most efficient rebounders in the game. Well, what he may give away in terms of size to some of the big men down low, no doubt he makes up for it with his agility and determination. That's what allows him to be such an outstanding leader. Well, he's got the effort and the attitude and the tenacity that you need. And if you didn't have that at his size, then the big fellas would eat you up down low. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Raptors leading by five. Lowry from outside. And again, Toronto no luck. So it's Chicago now. Earlier, really, Doris Brooks, Burke, and then Coach Fred Hoyper. That's quite that easy. disappointed with how they played here over the course of this run. Yeah, you know, they haven't looked good at all here lately. Something has to change for them, and we'll see what he's got coming out of the timeout. And the first timeout of the game called for Chicago. Game possession. Here's Lowry. Gasol is screen. Lowry dishes to Gasol. 
It's Ariza on the wing. And again, Toronto with the triple. Well, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling. Off to a very good start offensively as a result. Gasol a screen. And Moore kicks to Snell. And he's good on the three balls. And they're just raining threes on both ends. Boy, I love the answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back with my own triple. Now, here's Lowry. Gasol, a screen on Gasol. Kicks it to Gasol. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. Gasol's got six points. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point, defensively, defensively, you have to take something away. Just a major size difference between the defender and shooter on that possession. And Greg, without a hand in his face, he's simply going to spray whoever's there. So it's Toronto. Ten-point lead. And there's the feed to a reason. And a miss there on the triple. Bulls are gone. Four and seven from the field. Shooting over 50%. More takes it to the side. From 15, can't get it to go. Now Toronto takes it the other way. Left side, Lowry. Good looking screen by Gasol. Lowry drives in. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Lowry's got five. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Giving up too many open shots. I mean, that's what's happening here, Greg. They look to me to be a bit sluggish. Kicks it out to Ariza. Six to shoot. Raptors need to get a shot. That is good. And the Raptors lead by 14. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agendas. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. Here's Levine. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And it's off the back rim, no good. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. Moore against Lowe. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. Roy Hibbert picks one up. Toronto shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Two shots. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Blue shots. First one calls for it. And the Raptors with some changes. Serge Ibaka has checked in for P. Damari Carroll comes in for Trevor Ariza. And Corey Joseph subbed in for buckets. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Portis is checked in for Hibbert. Gibson comes in for Pau Gasol. Miritich is checked in for Tony Snell. And it's Jennings in for each one more. And so Lowry nails both of them. Bulls trail by 16. Chicago calls timeout. They've been committing a lot of turnovers, and I imagine that's exactly what they're talking about right now. They need to tighten it up. Portis plays it up and banks it in. 
and he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg, and when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Now, here is Lowry. He's got seven. Seven-foot shot, no good from Gasol. Bulls trail by 14. Levine dishes to Jennings. Gibbs in the screen. Goes up off the... Oh! Even when they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he pulled it off. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe this is the best time to do it. I, I agree. I mean, now's when you need a spark, something electric to get your teammates fired up. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for Toronto. Boy, they've What's really up? amped up the Mind pressure the at the defensive end, Mind guys, the and have piled up the steals in the early going. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnovers. Free throw good, Levine. Toronto leading by 11. Here is Lowry. Good looking screen by Gasol. Lowry kicks to Joseph. At the elbow, it's Ibaka. Drives it from nine. And he gets it to go. And the Raptors lead by 13. You could not diagram a better way to open a quarter. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the lead they've jumped out to already. What a start. Here's Portis. Can't get it to fall. He's missed the second after making his first. Carroll against Jennings. Carroll passes to Lowry. Ibaka sets the pick for Lowry. Pass to Joseph. Shot clock at six. Let's it go from deep, and Gibson sends it back. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Let's bring out the 2K leaderboard to see the best up-tempo teams in the league. Fourth, the Bulls. And, and what a fun team to watch all season long. That up-tempo style. I mean, you've got to love them as a run-and-gun team. That's who they are, and that's going to be important in terms of their push here in the postseason. Shooting two. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Luis Scola. He's checked in for Mark Gasol. Both good from the line that time. Raptors leading by 11. Lowry dishes to Kira. Okay, Back to Lowry. Carroll against Miritich. And the basket by Skola. Skola's got his first pass. They've done well in taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball into the paint. Clearly, they've been the aggressors thus far when it comes to attacking the interior in this first half. Now here's Jennings. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And Miracic throws it down. Oh, you got to love that nice assist by Jennings. Toronto's gone 3-6, 50% from deep so far tonight. Jennings against Lowry. He dishes it to Scola. Over to the left wing. And here is Joseph. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. For Toronto, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. One shot. One shot.
free throw drops for Lowry. One thirty seven left in the first quarter of the game. Scola with a clean look. His three pointers off the mark. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Gibson with the screen on Lowry. Jennings kicks to Gibson. That falls. Great assist by Brandon Jennings. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. Toronto leading by 10. The pass to Joseph. Feeds it to Stola. And stolen by Jennings. In transition, here come the Bulls. Levine can't hit. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he'd shot the ball anything like he's capable of. And it's Lowry penetrating. Chicago grabs the miss. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to basket. But on that one, they will. Gibson setting the beat for Jones. And it's a good performance. Wide open. Up shot is good that time. Portis has got to back down to single digits for the Bulls. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. Now Jennings following the miss by Kyle Lowry from deep. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Jennings passes to Portis. From 18 feet away, again Chicago. Boy, guys, they've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. Excellent. Four straight passes leading to scores. Great team play. Now here is Lowry. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And we reached the end of the first quarter. Raptors lead by six. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when... And Serge Ibaka, becoming known for his shooting ability now, he talked about the confidence his teammates and his coach instilled in him. He trusts you. Every time he punches the ball, when you don't shoot, he screams you, shoot ball. The next time what, you will shoot. And if you miss, he say, yeah, good shot. You know, and your coaches in the practice talking to your teammates. Man, when Serge is open, give him the ball. He will make that shot. Let's take a well, if you wonder how much difference a coach can make for a player, there it is. Huh? You, you heard it in Serge's voice, too. That confidence has already been planted in him. That, that voice telling him, shoot the ball, it is now in his own head. He, he's going to be just fine. And we welcome you back to our presentation of Game 1. Take a look here at the Raptors' performance here, guys. Uh, what have they been doing or, or not doing in your opinion? I just think that from an intensity standpoint, their defense has really been the key. It's been the catalyst as they've been able to disrupt their opponents' offense. Absolutely. I mean, they've been much more intense defensively. Their defense not only has been intense, but it's been swarming in the Rand Rap On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. They got Kyle Gasol. Each one more is out there with Jennings. Then it's Roy Hibbert, and it's Snell, and it's the three -side. Now, here's Joseph. After the miss from Pau Gasol. Joseph, the pass to Buckets. Baca against Hibbert. Has to beat. Down to five on the shot clock. And he takes that one up and powers it through. He is one guy you do not stand in the way of when he decides to attack the rim. Look at this screen by Gasol. James dishes to Hibbert, taking it to Moore. Puts it up. Serge Ibaka pulls it in. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. All the defender had to do there was just stay close to him, and he did. 
got his first bucket in this one. Not phased at all by having a bigger defender on him down low. And I really thought he would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think that he'd be comfortable in that particular situation. But well, I'll tell you what, he didn't look like he was out of his element at all right there. And here are the Raptors now. After Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. Here's Ariza. Trains it from beyond the arc. Ariza's got nine. It's first triple of the second quarter, third of the game. Jennings kicks to Snell. It's back to Jennings. Good looking screen by Gasol. Here's Moore. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And here's the break. Dishes to Ibaka. To the wing on the left. Buckets. He's guarded by Jennings. Here's Buckets. Can't get it to go. And it's Chicago the other way. Here's Snell. He kicks to Hibbert. Outside Jennings. To the paint. Good team by Ariza. And you saw how quick the defense was. They were ready for him. They got the hand in the face there and made that much more difficult. Yeah, and every team needs that kind of rugged interior defense because you want to try to distract your opponents when they get inside, and you also want to make them uncomfortable in their shot attempts. And Toronto has possession. At one point, they led by 16. Out to the wing. Here's P. He had dropped for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. It's becoming a theme in this game, Clark. They are piling up the points in the paint. Chicago calls timeout. And did not seem happy about how things are going on right now. And maybe wants to make some changes. I agree. I mean, just was not comfortable with the way things were set up at that particular time. And in that case, I think it's the right thing to do. Marcus Gasol's checked in for the Raptors. Bulls trail by 13. Over to the wing. Outside Jennings. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. That's, That's outstanding hang time improvisation right there. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot. One shot. Jennings, no good on the free throw, and out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. Here are some of the league's monsters in the middle, the players with the most blocks in the regular season. Second is Roy Hibbert. You know, when you talk about having an impact on the team from a defensive standpoint, you've got to talk about this guy. I mean, he's broken up plays, he's disruptive, he denies in the paint, he denies shots, he challenges shots. I mean, he's a tremendous athlete, and because of that, he does a great job defensively. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second shot. Yeah, foolish play. He's got to be thinking out there. Which he clearly wasn't on that play. Or maybe he was thinking just about something other than basketball. Well, speaking of thinking, back home, guys, we call that a good old-fashioned brain freeze. <laughs> now, here's Joseph. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Reza passes to beat. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. The Raptors have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. Two shots.
All right, now take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Some outstanding numbers in this one for Pete. He has eight points now and three assists as well. And, and with the ball in his hands, he's made terrific passes, but also when he's gotten to the line, he's been consistent as well. Yeah, I like that combination, guys. I mean, going to make your coach happy when you're getting it done in those areas, taking care of the ball, finding your teammates, and then knocking down free throws. Those are winning things. Offensive rebound. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. And it doesn't really matter who starts the break with how he runs the floor. He seems to always be the one who finishes. Yeah, he is so fun to watch and how he attacks the rim at full speed like that, man. It's, uh, it's something to behold the way that one guy shot. gets to the rim. One shot. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Patrick Patterson, he's checked in for P, and it's Johnson in for Trevor Ariza. And the free throw, no good. Bulls trail by 15. Jennings dishes to Gasol. Three-pointer. Offensive rebound. Here's Hibbert, and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Shots, gentlemen. Two. That's his first personal foul. First trip to the line for him here. Dwight Hibbert at the line for two. The first free throw is good. Hits them both. Toronto leading by 13. Joseph with the ball. Looking for his first basket. Silenus. Johnson left side. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passes. Again, Jennings missing, and it's the Raptors' ball. They're on a 15-6 run. The dish to Joseph. Off target from outside. The Bulls trail by 15. That's good from Jennings on the assist from Moore. Jennings has got his second bucket tonight. That is some real serious dime dropping there. Exquisite assist. Now Joseph. Gasol on the high post. He's against Hibbert. Six to shoot. Here's Buckets. And the Raptors take on two more. I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Good try by Jennings. Rejected by Gasol. Here's Johnson. And he banks in the layup. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. And Moore kicks to Hibbert to the left wing. Hibbert with the screen. Now here's Moore. Defense is right there. And here's Jennings outside. Toronto grabs the miss. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. And there's the pass to Buckets. But Trey. A rebound by Gasol. Bulls trail by 17. 
They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Kicks it to Jennings. Buries the long-range jumper. Jennings has got seven. After going scoreless in the first, he's really found a way to turn it on here in the second quarter. And here is Joseph. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. He feeds it to Patterson. Takes a three. Rebound by the Bulls. Gasol's got three rebounds now in this one. Here's Jennings. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Hibbert kicks to Moore. And so the ball out of bounds. Hibbert touched it last. I'll tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. The Raptors making a switch here. Lowry's checked in. Chicago also making some changes. Taj Gibson's checked in for Hibbert. Heritage comes in for Tony Snell. And Zach Levine subbed in for Brandon Jennings. Outside Lowry. Down low, Johnson. And he takes it into the layup off a very nice feed. Johnson's got six in the quarter. Kyle Lowry with a beautiful setup. Gasol is screen on low. Here's Levine. Now recovering. Gasol kicks to Gibson. Fires from the wing. No luck. Now Toronto takes it the other way. It's three on three on the fast break. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's his first foul. You know, right call gave the officials no choice there. I mean, they've got to make that call over the back. Yeah, I mean, he went chest first into the man in front of him. My goodness, I'm not an official, and I could have gotten that one right. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Yambo, he's jacked in for Gasol. Scola comes in for Patrick Patterson. And Damari Carroll subbed in for Buckets. Nero touch the pass to Levine. Doubled by Scola. Moore outside. Shoots the three. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after two for six start. Man, that is not an easy shot right there. I mean, he had to get it off over a much taller defender. Yeah, he needed to add just a little more loft on that one because of the size mismatch, and he did it perfectly. Tries from 16, and the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Score's got his second basket of the game. Here's Levine. Now recovering. Got a nice one there from Levine. My goodness, since when does he score off the crossover? Now I've truly seen it all. Lowry kicks to Johnson. The kick out to Scope. That one falls coming off Johnson's feet. And that's now six points for Luis Scola. And I like how he draws the attention on the inside and then the nice little kick out in rhythm for the jumper. Here's Levine now recovering. Gibson in the post. Johnson on him. No good from Gibson. Rambo dishes to Johnson. Hits the three-point bomb. Johnson's got nine points now in the quarter. Bulls trail by 18. Bean passes to Miritich. Here's Portis, covered by Biombo. Portis can't get it to go. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boys. Clark, it wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap and maybe swing the momentum. Outside for Lowry. Nailed from three-point lane. Lowry's got 11 points. He just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Gives him the screen. There's Levine. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. Now the feed to Johnson. And it's Johnson again missing. Bulls trail by 21. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. 
So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Really giving them fits. They just can't find an answer for Johnson. He has nine points and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. And Clark, I'm sure that won't be the last one. A lot of times he can get hot and stay hot from beyond. The Raptors shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. All right, now take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Luis Scola. And he sinks the second. Bulls trail by 20. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Levine, now recovering. Levine passes to Portis. He dishes it to Moore. Just five to shoot. Teardrop shot. The rebound by Ibaka. Here, off on the layup. Here's more. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so a pretty lopsided game for the first half. The Raptors out in front, delivering the blowout. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And welcome, everybody. Glad to have you back for this NBA postseason halftime report. Ernie Johnson alongside me, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. For the Raptors, boy, have they ever started this series off on the right foot. They've thrown down the gauntlet here in game one with their intensity and effectiveness on both ends of the floor. Now, they've got a little bit of an intimidation factor going into the second half. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, it comes down to confidence. From the opening tip, these guys had that swag. They had the attitude that you can't beat us. We can only beat ourselves. And Shaq, what'd you think about Chicago? Ernie, they are way too weak defensively in the paint. They're getting walked over down low, giving up a ton of points. Barbecue chicken everywhere with the sauce, without the sauce. We're having a Thanksgiving feast in here. That's a recipe for disaster. They cannot keep letting guys drive the lane, layups, lobs. Defense is weak, Ernie. Just about time for the third quarter to get underway, and we'll see you again at the horn. 